Stakeholders have commended the annual National Junior Table Tennis Championship, which promotes sports and education for upcoming players. The initiative aimed to regenerate development of the sport and help the Nigerian Table Tennis Federation to unearth talent while also empowering the youngsters with educational scholarship. The third edition of the Dr. Adibui Efunkoya Junior Table Tennis Championship, held in Lagos, saw 64 players from 12 states and 10 clubs participated in a three-day event. The under-15 competition was concluded in Lagos with Victor Joseph from Kogi State and Aisha Rabiu from Aruna Sports Club claiming top honors. Joseph defeated Toby Adebakin from Ozone Table Tennis Club 3-0 to claim the boys' title and emerge the most valuable player. The game was, it was so fantastic. The, end, so the game was, and it was so hard, hard. But I pull up and pull up and carry my body. And... In the girls' final, Rabiu defeated a teammate, Taiwo Akombi, 3 1, to lift the title, and she was voted the most valuable player in the female category. Firstly, I thank God for my mm -hmm. coach and my dad for encouraging me for this table tennis. I can't believe that I can which final at this stage. The National Junior Tournament was organized by the foundation in memory of Dr. Adigboye Efunkoya, a former president of the Nigerian Table Tennis Association, who helped grow the sport and produce some of the best players in the country. The, the importance of this competition is really to build up the young, uh, young talent in table tennis. Uh, the future of table tennis is the young ones. You have to catch them young. You have to um, build them, give them the confidence they need Allow them to express their their talents and then give them guidance. That's why there are so many coaches here. You give them guidance in what they are doing. And the foundation, what the foundation focuses on is two different things. One is developing the talent and one is also giving them an educational background to give them grants so that they can uh, have, have an educational balance so that they have two, two prongs in which they are going about uh, developing our, our future talent in Nigeria. Well, you and I will know that certainly we need a developmental program at this level. I don't know it's up there. Olajide is up there. Those that will take over from them are these ones. After this event, our plan is to take them through seminars, coaching seminars, clinics, and the rest. Because we know that even at this level that we are seeing, it's not enough compared to what you have in the rest of Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.